This is really amazing. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? It is time for another ConfuEye video because today I want to show you these beautiful motion LoRa's that recreate the effects as you know them from Pika Labs or from Hicksfield. Really cool. You can download them, use them for free for anything you want. And I will also in the future make more ConfuEye videos again. Also, let me know what kind of other UIs you're using in the comments so I can also make videos about those. But before we get started, here's a quick video that shows you some of these effects. You can download these models, of course, on Hugging Face. And there is here a link on this website, which I will link below the video, for two different versions. The T2V is text to video, LoRa, and then the I2V is for image to video. So keep in mind what you want to do if you want to start with an image, which I think is probably better, but sometimes you get better results with text to video. So you can experiment with both. And there is tons and tons and tons of these motion LoRa's here. Now the new ones with these amazing camera movements, they are at the lower part of this page. You can see here 360 orbit, an arc shot, a crane over the head, crane down, matrix shot, car chase, crash, zoom out, crane up, crash, zoom in, and so on. Pretty beautiful, pretty amazing. And then also up here you have other things like the classics, the squish effect, inflate, cakeify, deflate, crush, and so on and so on. And when you click on that, it will show you, of course, the page of the individual model. Here it also again explains the feature and what this is trained on. You can see here this kind of information. Then you can see here some previews which are pretty good so you can have an impression of how the effect is supposed to look. And then also a sample prompt down here which I would suggest you use and then modify so you get the best result. Below that you have the download link. So first of all there's the LoRa and this goes into the LoRa folder in the models folder of ConfUI. And then also you have your JSON file, which seems a little bit outdated maybe. And also I will show you a simpler alternative that also works. But if you don't have any of these fancy GPUs to run all of that, you can also try it here, especially these new effects, the different camera movements, which is pretty amazing. So this is also on Hugging Face Spaces. You can select one of these effects and then upload an image here that you want to use, describe the subject, click on generate and wait for it to finish. That's a very important part here because otherwise if you refresh it, you will not see the end result. Also, they advertise here that you should go to Remade Canvas because all of that is from Remade AI and there you can also use it online. It's a paid service. You get a couple of free credits to try it out. However, I for some reason did not find these new effects on their own website, which is a little bit strange. Uh, but today is all about using the free one. So you want to download everything and then I open this up inside of ConfUI, the EXA version for the desktop download. And I would highly suggest that you download that new version of ConfUI. And this will also adapt from the old version if you already have ConfUI installed. But this one is, as far as I know, better updated and more stable, has better features in there. So this is the preferred version as far as I know and has some pretty cool new additions to that. Uh, first of all, the manager is now part of ConfUI. It's included with the install. No more extra install for that, which of course makes it way easier to update everything. And then one more thing that is really cool here is the browser for templates. And this is actually what I also used for this video here. Here you find 
a lot a lot a lot of different workflow categories and then workflows within these categories so you can get started and these workflows that are prepared by the team will also download the models for you so that is really 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 useful and i'm also going to make videos about that if you have any requests let me know in the comments but first of all before we go back to that i want to show you this workflow here now this is the one that comes with the squish effect and here you have more different models that are being loaded i could get it to run to be quite honest i got an error message from that and uh, but i still want to show you that because there is several models you need to download to run that uh, for these different nodes here and one thing I want to point out here it's pretty easy to make that because first of all you see the full name here of the model so just type that into Google and then you find the link and then secondly when you mouse over that it will show you exactly where that model goes so for example here it tells you to, that it goes into ConfuI models text encoders while for example this over here goes into ConfuI models diffusion model so there is no more guesswork over where this model has to be saved it tells you by mouse over the model name that is pretty easy now what I did is that I used here from the model browser the uh, video section and then I go down here to van 2.1 because this is what this was trained on for the motion loras image to video in that case because I want to use an imp input image and then you click on that and it will suggest to you that you download this model which is 30 gigabytes you can do that if you want to uh, in my case I said no to that because there is a model that is suggested by this workflow here you can see the fp8 version and i've downloaded that and put it into the folder so here you have that i load that the load clip model is already loaded here suggested to you you can also download that if you don't have that and then one thing that is missing here is that you have a, a LoRa that is loaded, right? So just double click and say load LoRa. And there you have it, the LoRa loader. You go there and then you select the LoRa you want to use. You connect the model here and then connect the model here. And then you select the clip up here. Maybe move this a little bit back and then put the clip into these two clip fields here for the positive and negative prompt and then of course also you want to exchange the positive and negative prompt so here is how I use that and you can see actually here it says about a tank but I didn't feel that this made much of a impact in how the result looked but you can of course change it specifically to what it is you have in there and then the negative prompt only says bad quality video now the interesting thing here is in the suggested workflow for the squish LoRa down here it says that this process only works with at least 81 frames which is interesting because my process here you can set the length here it work with the setup I think the setup is 33 let me check yeah it's 33 so it worked with that no problem of course if you do that the effect is shorter it doesn't show you the full effect so you want to probably still do the 81 that are suggested and the process is rather kind of slow but I mean it's video rendering so video rendering is kind of slow but yeah it worked pretty well here is the result that I got from that uh, both side by side the shorter one and the longer one as you can see the effect works really well and also the interesting thing here is you don't need to have the hands in the image these are added by the motion LoRa uh, because as you can see this is my input image that I created with flux and it doesn't have any fingers in that just a model that is separated from the background and that's it already for today give it a shot try out all of these kind of different models offline online whatever works for you it's pretty amazing and let me know in the comments what you think thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon bye